That's interesting, but Maria, you don't see that hand that's just doing this outside the window. You don't see that. You questioning him, but you ain't questioning what's outside. Let me just continue on. What's good with my amazing beautiful people? It's your boy Eddie, and I'm back at again with another video. Back at again. Back at again. Back at again with another gaming video. Okay, so things are getting quite interesting. Getting quite interesting. Being chased by a demonic moth that is called Ma. And he, I guess he gathers all the souls because it makes him feel good. And it's crazy how he can uh, get me in the spirit world, well, get Marianne in the spirit world, and how he can get Marianne in the real world. That's ridiculous. Okay, so enough me rambling. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to that bell icon so YouTube will notify you when I post a video on my channel. Also, don't forget to stay connected with me by following my socials down below. And with that being said, let's dive on it. Um, before I continue, I would say that if you hear any noise in the background, that's because of a snowplow. We had a blizzard here in New York. And I also lowered down the music volume completely because when I was editing it, I realized that the music was way louder than what Marianne was saying, even though... Everything was to the max. Richard? Are you there? I forgot all about Richard. Look at all these moths. Wait, let me go. Oh, wait, okay, okay. Oh, wait, I almost got it. Almost got it. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I'm messing up. I'm messing up. I'm messing up. There we go. <laughs> Don't you think he would be better off in a nursing home? What about his family? Richard doesn't have any family. Oh, the poor man. It's like he's somewhere else. We were close once, you know. I mean, not that close, but. All right. I'll take care of him. Hollow like a puppet. Isn't that what Sadness said? Hmm. So the person that Ursula was taking care of wasn't Thomas. Wait, is it? No, the person she's taking the person she's taking care of that's in the wheelchair is Richard. The person she's talking to was Thomas. Right? I don't know. I'm confusion. I'm confusion. Oh man, okay. So let's read this. Thomas. I've always been stunned by the depths and complexity of this imagination. Mesmerized by the surreal dream escapes dreamscapes his mind will weave. The way he described them with every minute detail. It was as if he actually witnessed all of it. As if something or someone. Pull the veil and allow him a peek beyond the edges of our reality. An angel? A demon? Is there really a difference? I know it didn't matter to me as his visions came alive on my canvas. Some would say I used the boy to fuel my winning creativity. But how could I not? To let this unique perspective, this bottomless well of inspiration go to waste. That would be an unforgivable sin. Okay, like Thomas was using somebody. Is this another note? A very special boy. I remember the first time I met him. Working a simple factory job. Still more of a boy than a man. Wide-eyed, constantly looking over his shoulders like a scared animal. His parents had died in the Warsaw Uprising of what he'd gone through, through in the years that followed. He did not want to speak and I never pressed him. But it soon became clear. He had no one else in the world, in this world. I could immediately tell that, despite his young age, he had seen things that no one his age should. I could immediately tell he was special. Thomas was special ever since he was a little boy. Un echo, an echo. Gather round, children. I want you to meet Lilia. She's going to be joining our painting class. Why can't I play with my friends, Uncle Richard? Your friends? 
Oh, Lillian, I... I promised your father you would spend some time with the other children. Friends, huh? Hmm. All these notes. Throwing away greatness. I spent a few years trying to steer him in the right direction. Trying to make him see the death of his potential. He kept refusing, claiming that he had no painter, that he was no painter and that he saw our little get-togethers as therapy, rather than artistic expression. Eventually, I wore him down. He agreed to enter university, but on the condition that it would be his chosen field. And so, he started on his way to become an architect. At first, I was rather skeptical, thinking that he was throwing away greatness for mere competence. But deep inside, I guess I was glad to be the only one to bring his vision to life. And then, he met her. Our painting sessions became few and far between. He no longer needed my help in dealing with his inner demons. Who he met? Who was her? And who was writing these notes? Richard? A sheet of music. At least part of it. Okay, got that. So I'm guessing Richard was the the teacher for these little kids. He's probably a kindergarten teacher. Oh, another note. Okay, combine that with that. Okay, gotta get one more piece. I see, I see birds in the bottom, but I'm here talking. Okay, focus on the spirit world. That globe. There's a sense of loneliness coming from it. It feels incomplete. Hmm. Well, we gotta complete it then. Another note? It became a real habit of ours. We sit down, sketchbook at the ready, and then he closes his eyes and start talking, describing all the things he saw in his mind's eye, the horror and splendor of worlds beyond our own. What started out as an innocent exercise in imagination ultimately became a bottomless well of inspiration. My hand wouldn't dare rest, sketching furiously as he described the indesirable. For a while, I wondered why he was so eager to share his visions with me. To him, they seemed to be a burden, a source of great pain and distress. But, finally, I understood. He sought to share them with someone who saw them as a source of beauty, rather than madness. It looks like the person that's writing this note, and which I'm thinking is Richard, is probably analyzing Thomas and seeing what he's capable of doing. That's what I'm thinking. I might be right. Or it might be wrong. I don't know. Okay, I gotta go in my body. I forgot all about that. Okay, go through here. <laughs> I forgot all about I can go have this out of body experience. Okay, get this. I can use that for the globe. And that globe will probably give me the energy I need in order to create a force field to get past those moths. What's this over here? Oh, I could probably only see in a in the material world. Okay, let's go back to the globe. Select that. Oh, they're gonna create a face. I like the, like, no, bring that up. I like the eyes. Bring that. Okay. There we go. I was right. It made a face. What is that? Another junction. Maybe it can show me a way out of here. Mm. Okay, okay.
this away. Keep on going, keep on running, keep on running. Go in here, what's in here? Piano. Okay, like I need more energy. Yeah, like I need something to attach it to. It's too weak to absorb. To get more energy. It's like it's missing something. Okay, come on. I'm on. I'm on. This is so hard to to find the the good spot. Oh, does that sound right? Okay, wait. There we go. I love this melody. It reminds me of my childhood. At least the good parts of it. But the bad parts, they're always there, aren't they? You're a very smart girl, Lily. You know that, don't you? You are special. Her voice, is that? Oh, so I was right. I was right. Lily is sadness. Uh -huh. Number seven. Okay, that might be. Oh, I know that useful. I know that's for that room. I forgot all about that room. Let's go back. Is there anything else in here before I go back? That's important. Oh, right here, right here. What's this? Cut the booty crack, cut the booty crack, uh, cut the booty crack, cut the booty crack, uh. Oh, that's kinda that's 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 a tough spot. That's a tough spot. It's giving me struggle, it's giving me friction, it's giving me problems. <laughs> okay, so I'm free to go this way. Oh, so this is a shortcut. I was about to go all the way back around to this door. To this to open up this door right here. Where's the teacher's room key? Oh, there's an echo here. Right there. Come on, Richard. You were always there when I needed you. Let me return the favor. Uh, I don't know, Thomas. What about my work, the university? Richard, I know they kicked you out. I'm guessing you finally managed to piss off the right people. Stay with us, old friend. Do it for me, for them. So he brought him here. Hmm. Wonder who he meant by them. So Thomas, I'm confused. So Thomas, let me see if I get this straight. Okay, yeah, so Thomas was the manager. So he can't be the little boy that the person that was writing those notes was talking about because he's the manager. How you can he be the manager he was a little kid? So Thomas was the manager of this place. He hired Richard to work at the day room because of Richard being kicked out at the university he used to work at. Now for what reason that he got kicked out, I don't know. But I guess you're gonna find out. Somebody glasses. So that's how you found him? Yes, he was just lying there. He, uh... Mr. Record? I, I'm sorry. He was a friend. I just uh, need him. So Richard died. That's not true, Thomas. You thought he deserved it. So Richard, so Thomas hated Richard behind his back. Growing apart. Once he got engaged, we grew apart for a while. Now that I think of it, I guess I was jealous. I no longer had him all for myself. 
In time, I warmed up to her as well. She was striking, both in her beauty and intellect. Eventually, I accepted the fact that he has found true happiness, true love, strong and pure. Well, as pure as it can be, I guess. In any case, I was no longer needed. While the project came along, the one that would eventually be known as Naiva, I pulled all my strings to get him what he wanted, even though I knew it would draw out an even bigger wedge between us. I wanted the best for him. He was the closest to a son that I ever had. Who is writing these letters? I am confused on who's writing these letters. Oh, another. Be all the pieces of the score now. Okay. I'll put down a piano. Let's go back to that room. I am confused, y'all, on who writing these letters. Is it Thomas or is it Richard? It has to be Thomas. And who's and who's the boy that he's talking about? Oh, I'm blocked. I'm blocked. Gotta go this way. Okay, gotta go right here. Place that there. Okay, so now I can go past these um these moths. Go, Marianne. Keep it moving, Marianne. Okay, you good. You good. Hope Ma don't come. I'm really hoping Ma don't not come. What is that? What is that that's moving? It's got fingers. What in the world? Marianne, you don't see that. Because that's the first thing I see when I came down here. I think better not come through the window. But it's not, better not bust through that window. Okay, almost got it. Almost got it. Almost there. Okay. Oh, Richard. My arms are getting tired. You've been drawing me for hours. Almost done. You know, Lily, you remind me of someone. A girl I knew when I was very young. Did you love her? Yes. With a young, innocent love. Free of the... Ferocity. Of adult lives. So Richard was a painter. I'm getting a weird vibe from him. Exactly. He's There's grief, sorrow, and lust. Something else. He he was infatuated with Lily, like all because he looked, she looked like somebody that he used to love when he was little. Oh, spirit guides. Spirit guides, tell me go here. And why Lily call him Uncle Richard? Is that really her uncle? Okay, wait, wait, okay, wait, okay, okay, wait, okay. Oh my gosh. Gotta find the sweet spot. Gotta find the sweet spot. I gotta find the sweet spot. Gotta find the sweet spot. There we go. Oh, wait, almost had it. Oh my gosh. There we go. Thank you. You get old to be playing with dolls. Here, I bought it especially for you. I don't think how close he is to Lily. A ribbon? It's beautiful. Thank you, Uncle Richard. Here, let me. Um, on the other hand, why don't you do it yourself? Ah, uh, what was that? It's like something stirred inside him. That's interesting, but Marianne, you don't see that hand that's just doing this outside the window. You don't see that. You questioning him, but you ain't questioning what's outside. Let me just continue on. I 
just mean to. Mean to oh, what? God. What have I done? What have you done? It feels cold. What have you done? Yeah, exactly. What have you done? You killed Lily? Um What you feeling, Marion? What you feeling? Describe to me what you feeling. I have never felt anything so desperate. It was calling out to me. It wanted to show me something. <gasps> oh. Okay. What what did it want to show her? Who's that? Oh, that's Thomas. God fucking damn it! I thought I could protect her. Idiot! Also, Vic. What would you think of me? I failed you. Us. I'm just young looking. I thought you look falling apart. I think I look older than that. What's falling apart? What happened? Did he die? What? Don't be gonna answer with me now. Try to figure out what happened. Better watch your tone. I know. No, I need to be sure. There's sure what? Gotta be something around here. What's he looking for? You want what? I want you to tell me what you're looking for. Fuck. Ooh, he cursing. Watch your profanity. Ooh. Who are you looking at? What in the Look world? Who finally decided to let me out of my cage? And only when you need my help. Surprise. Surprise. Oh, his spirit can talk to him? Not in the mood. Just tell me what you see. Come on. Come on. Yes. I can feel it. Okay. It's around here somewhere. Oh, well, it's real fucking specific. Hey, I'm trying to help here. Well, you know, sometimes I wonder. Well, it doesn't make it easier when you keep me in the dark for so long. Oh, right. Thanks for that, by the way. <laughs> Hell of a way to treat your soulmate. God damn it! There's nothing here. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna stay after this. Really? I'm never wrong about these things. You know that. Oh, screw this. I should have known better than to listen to you. You're gonna grab him by the neck. Oh. What? There. There. Where? What? What is that? What? You building tension? Grab the fucking thing! <laughs> I know why he's just looking at it. After page. 
It's like he's obsessed. He, he must be Richard. What has he... What have I done? We couldn't have known. I let him into my home. It was like a father to me. Mm. Oh, who does scare me? This to her. Fucking bastard! Who could he? He must have. I told you we couldn't trust anyone but ourselves. Keep it together. Think. What do we do now? We wait. And when he comes back. Oh, just... Whoa, 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 easy, Tiger. Remember what's at stake here. Just let me do what I do. You better do it fast. Because if you don't, I will kill him. Mm. Mm, wow. Who's walking? Oh, like I'm seeing through the eyes of Thomas. I can't. Oh. Thomas. Oh, it's Richard I'm looking through. Wasn't expecting you. Is uh, everything all right, my friend? Did you do it, friend? What did, did he I do? What? My daughter. <gasps> My 13-year-old daughter. I entrusted her to you. Thomas. Did you do it? I... I don't... I found the sketchbook. Forced myself. The person that was shot in the beginning of the game was Lily? Cover to cover. Every single fucking page. Ooh, dang, he's on. Like he about to transform. Tell me you didn't hurt her, Richard. Thomas, please. Tell me I'm wrong, Richard. Tell me, and I'll let you go. I it wasn't me, Thomas. You have to understand. There's this thing inside of me. Shut up. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. You, you have to believe me. I wanted to die. Uh oh. So Richard, you dead. Thomas, I'm so sorry. She's my daughter. I never wanted any of this. I, I, I should never have come here. But you did. Ooh. No one she was here. Knowing what she means to me. Thomas, I, I swear I'll go away. You'll never wait. Not you. No. Let me out. Let me out. Let me in. What do you mean, let him in? What is happening? What is that? A, what is that? That's an intestine. Oh. Mary, you better move. Oh. Oh. This cancer has spread far enough. Time to cut it out. Cancer? Yeah, so who had cancer, Richard? Oh, I'm playing with Thomas now. All right, Richard. This is your world. Show me what you're hiding. But like I was saying. If if Thomas Spurso can talk to him, 
Is it possible for Mary Ann's spirit self to communicate with her? Because all this time I thought her and her spirit self were one. Probably because she's accepted it. And she embraced it because of a uh because of um um that guy who told her to embrace it. So probably that's how it became one while Thomas was trying to fight it and it became as two separate things. Okay, I just saw my own question. Is this where it started, Richard? The place that broke you. The universe Made you what you are. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, Thomas. So Lily is his daughter. So what he want with Marianne then? Thomas, there's something here. It awoke on the day when she came to it. It took over. Made itself at home. So why he wanted Marianne? That's what I'm confused about. Don't lick it. Loss. Hatred. See his ribcage showing? Grief. This place reeks of them. Something terrible happened here. It changed Richard forever. Is it a no! What the hell? Leave her alone! Okay, so that's Richard when he was little. Ugly secret, the sum of all his demons. I can feel something not right. What can you feel? Okay, keep on running. Why you stop running? Father's knife. Richard, your father forgot his knife. You'd better go and bring it to him. Uh, all right, I'll play along for now. Wait, is it near? Father, you forgot your knife. Oh, thank you, Richard. You know what? Why don't you keep it? Why are you telling Noodle? It's your lucky knife. And now it's yours. You'll need it. I'm leaving tomorrow. What? No! But look at it. Look at a picture's face. The face is fading away. It's like the haunts in a blind manor. Eventually they'll be forgotten. And their face will be completely gone. Like that one over there. Oh. But where are you going? The army is heading out west, and I'll be going with them. But no, I don't want you to go. Oh, you gotta stop! Come on, Thomas, run! I don't want to go either, son. But sometimes, what we want isn't what's important. Do you understand? I... When will you come back? Take care of your mother, Richard. You're the man of the house now. Okay. So, like, Richard's father and mother probably had a divorce and probably he had to leave. He had to go to separate ways. The sweat of your brow. No, is here. What's that? What's over here? You shall rise and you shall fall. Till you return to the earth. From which you came.
What else is over here that's important? Okay, there's nothing else. Those tentacles are guarding something. We need to get rid of them. How? Oh, what's that? In his drawer. To dust you are, and to dust you will return. What happened? What was that? What was that noise? Father's knife. As government representative of the Polish Republic, I wish to offer my deepest sympathy and regret in regards to the passing of Lieutenant Thaddeus Stavosky. But though for he who lost you mourn died in the wait, ooh, that didn't sound right. He who lost you mourn died in the noble causes. This country will be forever grateful for the sacrifice he made protecting our freedom and independence. Minister of Military Affairs. Grief, anger. I can work with that. Okay. Well, I feel like Tom is going to be the final boss. Okay, okay. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that. He was, that was kind of like, oh, like overpowered, you know? That was kind of uh. epic. I mean, okay then. Not overpowered. Hey, Richard. Oh, Rose might be that little. You can't catch me. Rose probably that little girl that he was friends with. What? Oh, that hey, he like. Should I go this way? Richard, my arms are getting tired. Almost done. Richard loved drawing. I'm tired of doing these. I'm tired of him and Marianne doing this jogging. Like, run fast, though. Come you, on, Slowpoke. How are you jogging somebody's memory? Like, come on. You gotta run. Here. I'll try to bring more tomorrow. Thank you, Richard. I can't tell you how much this means to me. So he was sneaking food over to Rose. So Rose must not have been... I feel you must not have been feeding her at her, at her place. But what is it? It's um, something very important. Promise me you'll keep it safe. <laughs> this way, silly. Them in his maze, like I'm sure they ain't get lost. I'm getting lost myself. Rose! <laughs> Over here. Stop playing around, Rose. There you are. I was afraid you'd get lost in there. Me, I've been waiting here for ages. I was starting to get bored waiting for you. Richard seemed such Richard seemed like a nice boy. You see that? A storm is coming. It's a big one. We should probably go. Seems about tomorrow. I'll be there. I'll be there. Oh. Ooh, that's bright. 
cute, Richard. Real cute. <laughs> so, where do we go from here? Um. Okay, go through here. Where else do we need to go? Mom? Up here? Who is he? He's... He's someone who can take care of us. But I can take care of you. I promised Dad I'd protect you. I know, honey. And he would be so proud of you. But sometimes, a brave heart is just not enough. So Richard dead. I thought he left. Left the mother. But he, I guess he had to leave to to go to war and he probably died. He probably was one that died that they mentioned in the letter. Hey, come here. I need you to do something for me. Ooh. Who he said I come here to? I need you to bring me that can. You know which one. Yeah, real specific. Who are you talking? Oh, you talking to the spirit, Thomas. You talk to the spirit, son. Let me use my ins let me use my insight. Wedding photo. Why the hell would I want that? You miss your daddy? Well, he ain't here. Oh, that's his stepfather. So his stepfather must have been abusive to Richard. Ooh, that's the thing from Evil Dead. The book from Evil Dead. I forgot the name of the book. The Necrolactalis, something like that. The Necronomicon, I think that's the name of the book was. It looks just like that. Oh, what? You want a bedtime story? I'm not your goddamn mother. Yep. He was abusive. Charmer, that one. He was real abusive to Thomas. Yep. I mean, that belt right there explains it. And he was uh, an alcoholic. Based on this oh, bottle. You little shit. I'll teach you some respect. Oh. Who went my way? Do it again. Oh, why, why you not getting hit? Why you not burning? There we go. What the hell did you do to me? <laughs> I said hit back or I'll cut you again. What I do? Grateful little fuck. Get the hell away from me. Oh, so that little. Gladly. A little tentacle thing was was Richard's stepfather. Oh, poor Richard. His way of obtaining energy looks so much better than uh Marianne's. But his his energy comes with hate. Hate and pain. And he's abusive to the mother. Hold on, mommy. Come on, come on. Come on. You want some too? Come on. You want some too? Come on, bring it. Burned you. Burned you too. Uh huh. Wow. Please don't. No. Hmm. I feel real bad for Richard. It's all your fault. You couldn't protect her. Can't protect anyone. Oh, so he was saying that. Hmm. Hmm. Nice. 
so bright. Mitchell was going to hit himself. But not at the same time. Richard was on A himself. Richard! Richard changed roles. You know, the same Richard that, that you love and adore. He had an abusive stepfather that changed him, made him more bitter, made him more angrier. I should be going. I'm sorry. It's alright, Rose. We can finish some other time. She looks so different here. She don't look, she don't look as happy as she did in the first picture. In the first drawing. She looks sad. Richard, where are you? Hello? Let's go here. Richard, what? come out! Come out, come out wherever you are. Where you at, Richard? What's this? I'm sorry. That's all I could bring. But that's all right, Richard. It's more than enough. Hmm. They got Richard being abused by his stepfather. They got Rose not eating. When she when when she's home with her parents, her parents not feeding her the way they're supposed to. This is ridiculous. Don't this is sad. Worry. I'll keep you safe. I'll keep you safe. This isn't funny. What's happening? What are you doing to Rose? What he doing to Rose? Richard! What happened? There you are. Oh. oh. Hey. He I just waited can't. for you. By the maze. I was afraid something happened to you. I'm fine. I don't like being alone. Hmm. Hey, you're a monster. Sure, you're all right. I said I'm fine. Hey, if something happened, you can tell me. Yeah. She's, she just want to know what happened to you, Richard. Because if you're not going to tell what's happened, I'm going to tell her. Get the hell away from me. And I, oh. Okay. Richard, you know what? Okay, Richard. I get the picture doesn't change a goddamn thing. Hey, Thomas is filled with so much hate. Hey. I don't know if Mary even goes out his mind to see what happened to him because he's got so much hate. More hate than Richard. Mommy? What's going on? Shh. Listen to me, Richard. Listen to my every word. Oh, they stopped talking. Some men will come to our tonight but why what do they want Shh, it's okay i told them to come oh i think always scaring me the hell is this no stay away from me stay back so she must have called the cops get away from me you bastards no! No! So like the father got arrested. Don't me! No, please don't! Yeah! I think the stepfather got arrested. Well, it sounded like he got arrested. Any son of Poland who collaborates with the oppressor. First house on the left. Right next to the river, with the old cherry tree in front. They're hiding them in the pantry, under the floorboard. They let them out sometimes to stretch out, usually later in the day. Some of them even go outside, go out sometimes, probably looking for food. Best to come at night. Was it the... 
who steals from, denounces, or otherwise acts against his compatriots. Did I say Cold War? I mean, I say World War. I think I say World War. But if I didn't, World War Two. So this is during the, the the Holocaust. I think I'm not good with history, y'all. So the reason that Richard was sneaking food to her was sneaking was leaving her food because she was hiding away from the uh, the people that was capturing the the Jewish people. All the time I thought it was her parents not feeding her, but no. Commits an unforgivable crime against the motherland. Oh, I should be swiftly punished. Oh, he hanged himself? What happened to a nicer guy? I just love when he uses powers. It looks so much cooler than Marianne's. This is getting tedious. Rose, mm. where are you? I'm sorry. Oh. Come on, come on, hit me again. Oh wait, I'm pressing the wrong button. Wait, let me get back. Okay, okay. RB. Do it again. Found you. Who did that? Come on, hit me, hit me. Come on. Yep, I burned you. Haha. <laughs> ain't gonna do nothing. There was no food that time. Please come out. Oh, she probably got captured. She probably got caught. There's blood. Yeah, she probably got caught. What is that sound? Like it's a monster. Oh, now you need her after you, after you told her to get away from you. Leave you alone. Now you need her. Okay, I'm away from you. I have to go away from you. Rose died. Literally, the rose died. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. That's so sad. That's so sad. Poor Rose. She's gone. Hmm. Bad for Richard, y'all. I really do. He lost his father. He lost his best friend. That was, that potentially could have been his girlfriend. He had an abusive father, a stepfather. That was abusing not only him but his mother. But I'm trying to figure out what he did to Lily. Like, did he kill Lily? Was he the person that shot her in the beginning of the game? This is it. That was the thing I seen in the window when I was playing Marianne. Is that? No. You're not. 
That thing like Baraka. No, it's like Barack. Yeah, like Baraka. Baraka Bar and Shiva. <laughs> That's Rose? That big thing right there is Rose. My precious little flower. It's moving away. Lily. Chow Eater. That big thing's a child eater? Are we gonna fight it? Uh oh, they're gonna fight it. Let's get this over with. How big that thing is? What are you trying to do to him, Thomas? Please, mister, I need help. The monster, it's after me. Monster, you say? And what does this monster look like? Sir, there's no time. Hurry, we have to get Help him, Thomas. It's okay, Richard. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? Do I know you, mister? Are you one of my stepfather's friends? No, kid. Oh, he's blind. He can't see. I'm not planning on making any friends here. I'm here just for you. No! No! Don't come any closer! Don't touch me! You're gonna kill him! Sorry, kid. I know you tried to run. To hide. Get your hands off me! But as long as you're here, the beast will always find you. Oh! Richard. Oh, you kill. Pretty overwhelming at first. Thomas being like me, but different somehow. I guess I don't have to tell you. Yeah, his is filled with <gasps> anger. Oh, Marianne! The thing, the tentacles behind you. You don't feel like Thomas? Who the hell are you? Oh. That's my name. Undead. Oh. Uh. Is Who suffered because of you? The one you preyed upon? She came to me because she had nowhere else to go. Where was her father? Where were you? Oh, shut up! Stop acting like you ever cared about her! She was 
gonna save her. Do you need help? Somebody save her. This man, Thomas. What is he? He might be your brother. The red house. The red house. Yeah, I'm trying to get in the red house. This time, it wasn't just a feeling, it was a memory. Had I been here before? Was I a part of the puzzle? Mm. This man, Thomas, was he a part of my own past? I don't know. Because why would he call her there? <sighs> and then something clicked. What clip? That girl. It's me. <gasps> but it looks like it was taken here at Neva. Whatever it is, I can feel it out there, like it's calling out to me. There, in the woods. Okay guys, I'm gonna stop it there. So many questions. It's like, as soon as you get the answer to something else, 10 more questions begin to form. So now, what I said about whether Lily is sadness, that's true. Thomas has the same powers as Mary Ann. Now, I don't know how Mary Ann ties to this hotel. I don't know whether she's another version of Lily or she's somebody completely different. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so that YouTube will notify you when I post with my channel and I'll be back playing some more of this. So with that being said, I'll see you next time. Deuces.